And we have some breaking news out of the NFL where the New York Jets and defensive tackle Quinn and Williams have agreed to a contract. Our senior NFL insider Jonathan Jones is reporting that. That deal is reportedly worth for four years at $96 million, $66 million is guaranteed. Now, Williams is coming off of a career year where he was a first-team All-Pro selection. He recorded 12 sacks and 55 tackles. And who is going to get paid next? We're looking at the D tackles drafted in 2019 and some of the deals that we've been seeing. Quinn and Williams, you see his there, uh, recording 27 and a half career sacks. That is a four-year, $96 million uh, deal. Jeffrey Simmons, Dexter Lawrence, their deals are already done uh, for Oliver and Wilkins. When will we see those deals come in? But again, that breaking news just coming in out of the NFL, the New York Jets and Quinn and Williams agreeing to a contract that is according to our senior NFL insider, Jonathan Jones. And right now we have our NFL analyst, Lige Duzable, joining us here. And Lige, we have talked about Quinn and Williams. When is this deal going to get done? The talent yeah. and what he brings to that Jets team. Your initial reaction to Quinn and Williams signing this deal, again, that is uh, four years, 66 million of that guaranteed. What are you thinking when you're hearing this news? Rejoice, Jet Nation, rejoice. <laughs> the number one player on their defense is signed to an extension for four more years. And to your point, Jacqueline, we thought this deal might have been done a while ago because we saw the Dexter Lawrence deal. Ed Oliver signed an extension as well. Deron Payne. These are guys that are in the same age uh, wave as Quentin Williams. But deal took a little bit longer than we, we thought. We even thought that maybe Quentin Williams would be a hold in or a hold out for training camp because let's not forget the Jets report for training camp this Tuesday coming up because they have the Hall of Fame game. So this is a deal that had to be done. You talked about some of his stats, right? Over 12 sacks last year has been dominant in the run game. And then versus divisional po opponents, right? Talk about playing Josh Allen and taking that big behemoth of a quarterback down. He took him down three times last year in two games so you got to be able to have guys that can create havoc up the middle especially in that robert Salah defense and he'll tell you first and foremost this defense goes as quentin williams goes yes you got the big names of cj mosley you got sauce gardner but the number one player on that defense make no bones about it is quentin williams and Lige again, four years, $96 million. He's the second highest paid D tackle behind Aaron Donald. So what are you expecting from Williams now? And, and if you're the Jets, like what, what does that say about Williams? Well, it says the trajectory, what, he, what he's done in this league is pointing upwards, right? They believe he's gonna continue on that trajectory. There's a reason why he went as high as he did in the draft. And again, this defense goes as he goes, and I was a little bit surprised this deal took as long because the parameters for a new deal was already out there. I think what the hangup was, I think the Jets wanted to sign him to a five year. I think Quentin Williams wanted to do a four year. That way he can get back to the table and get a third deal, right? And I thought it would be in that range of 25 to 27 million because I believe Aaron Donald is making $31 million. But I believe that they were able to negotiate and Quentin Williams said, well, you know what? I'll take 24 a year if you drop it down to four years and they were able to get this deal done. So again, to me, he was the second best D tackle in football behind Chris Jones last year. Aaron Donald missed a couple of games, so I didn't put him in that category. But behind Chris Jones to get 12 sacks on a top five defense to be the focal point of that defense, this is a deal that needed to be done. And, I'm, and I know that heading into training camp when you're Quentin Williams, now you don't have to worry about playing through another year without having your financial security. Now you can just focus on ball. I believe they're going to get a really good year out of Quentin Williams again because now he has his money. He can go ball out. So, Lijay, you've said it. This defense goes as Quentin Williams goes. You think you're, they're going to, you know, get a lot out of him. But as far as the Jets all together and their expectations for this season, obviously you got Aaron Rodgers there, new guy under center. What are your expectations for the Jets with this new deal in mind for Quentin Williams? Yeah, the floor should be the playoffs. And I and I would say winning the division should not be out of the grasp of the Jets, right? Because they split a game with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they played them twice last year. They won one and could have won the second one, right? Michael Carter has a late fumble in that game. The offensive line was beat up in that game versus Buffalo. They held Josh Allen to only 147 pass yards that whole game. And in that second half, 
the Bills actually ran the ball just because they knew that the Jets' offense was struggling. They couldn't do anything against their defense. They didn't want to throw that game away. So if you look at that being the top team, and then you got the Miami Dolphins, and it depends on the health of Tua Tungavailoa. Can he stay healthy? They they split those games with them last year. Again, Tua didn't play in either one of those games, but the Jets dominated the one game, and the second game was a, a defensive shutout practically with both teams, with Miami coming away late in week 18 versus the New York Jets. So with Aaron Rodgers, right, that was the one thing the Jets, was they were missing, right? They needed a quarterback. They just needed adequate quarterback play because they got seven wins and they didn't have adequate quarterback play last year. So even if they get the Aaron Rodgers of last year, which was considered a down year where he threw for nearly 3,700 yards, the Jets probably win four or five more games that are in contention to win the division and get into the playoffs. So definitely the Jets are eyeing the playoffs. And honestly, when you bring in a first ballot Hall of Famer like Aaron Rodgers, it should be Super Bowl or bust. All right, the Jets kicking things off in week one, Monday Night Football with the Bills, so we'll have to see what happens. Lige Ducible joining us here on HQ. Thank you so much, Lige. If you're just tuning in, we are following that breaking news out of the NFL where the New York Jets and defensive tackle Quinn and Williams have agreed to a contract extension. Our senior NFL insider Jonathan Jones is reporting that, getting a look at Quinn and Williams and his ranks last season, second in sacks, tied for first with QB hits at 28. Again, that breaking news, Quinn and Williams and the Jets agreeing to a contract. It is four years at $96 million, $66 million of that is guaranteed.